Well, we're always keen to try to look at new ways to get the best for our students and we looked at the qualifications available and our GCSE in history seemed to match our needs, being an internationally recognised qualification, being something which was academically rigorous, prepared them well for A-level and perhaps gave a little more flexibility to the teachers and to the learners about the way they go about the course compared with conventional GCSE. My initial thought was what's, what's different about IGCSE, so we started to look into comparisons between the, the modern world GCSE unit that we have been teaching and uh, the IGCSE. I think the flexibility of it is a real benefit to a teacher without needing to worry too much about examination till, until towards the end of the course. There's an ability there to be able to drill down into what the students are really finding interesting. It gives me a lot more time to study and it keeps me organised because I get to go back and revise over things and it's good practice. It's an international um, qualification so I can go to any university I want in anywhere in the world and we get to go deeper into topics than we would in normal GCSE. Yeah it's definitely given us a chance to go into more depth because there's no modular exams so uh, we can go through the whole two years just going through everything. So I want you to draw in and annotate other factors to show how the depression strengthened the other reasons why people supported them. From what I've found so far, they're certainly interested in the course. Their skills are coming on, definitely, from a teaching point of view. There's so many topics that we can go into, so we get to learn more and get better skills. Wants it. So it's not just like a variety, there's lots of people all together. From a practical point of view, um, it gives you a bit more flexibility with assessment and coursework. And, and I think from a history point of view, um, it's good for both most capable students and, and weaker students. Weaker students, there's a fairly standard structure for the, the written answers they need to write. The stronger students are going to be able to make some detailed links across, across a, a long time period, which is a skill which is quite important for A-level history. I'm hoping to go on to do A-level history and then because it's, I want to go into business, it's a good thing to do. Certainly they wouldn't want to undertake a change of course too lightly, but there's, uh, there's some very good resources on, um, on the internet um, dedicated to sort of making a switch over. I think talk to the teachers, talk to the students, uh, make sure the parents are informed. Our parents were very relaxed about it once we'd informed them. I think it complements what we already offer and it gives that extra choice and flexibility to our staff and our students. I think come the end of, of the whole course where they've got an overview of um, you know, most part of the 20th century, they're going to be able to make some really quite detailed um, and quite high level evaluations of sort of broader historical themes. They're just enjoying learning good history with good teachers and exciting content. Thank you.